been here five years and every day during the winter, that's exactly what we do. Christine and Adam do something that plenty of people do this time of year when it's cold out. They get in their car, they start their car, and then they head back inside to let their car warm up. On a cold morning last week, the Browns went through their daily routine, getting the kids dropped off at school and then getting ready to head to work. I walked in, she was finishing making her cup of coffee, uh, walked out the door and within that, what, five minutes? It was that, like five, 10 minutes. Yeah, and yeah. they walked up, jumped in it and took off. Their Hyundai Sonata was unlocked, staying warm in the driveway, and it was stolen in a matter of minutes. Roy police came to take a report, but the car appeared long gone. It wasn't until the next day the Browns realized their 2013 sedan had a built-in tracking system called Blue Link. They said there's an app you can download on your phone that links you to your car. I downloaded it real quick, um, popped up, and it showed it was in Vegas. After calling Las Vegas police, the Browns monitored the movements of their car. Watching them hit two or three Del Tacos, a couple Mexican restaurants, casinos, uh, a few different residences, apartment complexes, houses. Then the car was driven onto I-15 heading towards Utah. We had the idea of let's call Utah Highway Patrol and actually get ahead of them. We've been playing behind for two days. Let's actually get in front of this. They gave dispatchers the location of their car. We're watching on the app the car just jumping great distances. UHP and Washington County Sheriff's deputies now had eyes on the vehicle. After a nine mile pursuit reaching speeds over 100 miles per hour. But they put spike strips down, uh, blew a couple tires out of on the driver's side. Days after it was stolen, the car was recovered. Police say the alleged car thief told them he was out looking for things to steal and came across a car left running and unoccupied. You know, you kind of just get complacent of it's it's not going to happen to me. There's no no way they could do that without us knowing. It might need some work at the body shop, but take it from those who feel lucky they're getting their car back after the ordeal. Take those couple extra seconds. Take your keys out of the car or, um, you know, lock the doors if you can. Brian Schnee, Fox 13 News, Utah.